Hello students, how are you all? Before starting this chapter, I want to ask you that in which planet do we live? The earth, right, the earth. Yes, today we are dealing the chapter number 5, motions of the earth. The earth has two types of movements, rotation and revolution. Now, in this module, we will learn about rotation. Do you know, the earth is moving all the time? Well, the earth is moving at very fast space. The earth is not at straight. It is tilted on its axis. Now let me explain to you. The earth axis is an imaginary line that runs through the poles of the earth. This axis is not straight but tilted at an angle of 23.5 degree. These movements of the earth on its tilted axis is known as rotation. The no next topic is rotation causes day and night. When we wake up early in the morning, we will notice that the darkness of the night gradually fades away with the break of the dawn. Gradually, the sun rises in the east and lights up the earth for the entire day. In the evening, the sun sets in the west and night approaches after dusk. I will explain you what is dusk and what is dawn. In fact, it is the earth that changes its position and not the sun. Why it just happened? Let me show you. Half of the earth which is in front of the sun has day and another half which is away from the sunlight has night. The earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis. Students, do you know what sunrise and sunset are called? Sunrise known as dawn while sunset is known as dusk. What is circle of illumination? The circle of illumination is an imaginary line which separates the lighted part, the earth, from the dark one. Thus the portion of the earth that receives sunlight experiences day while the portion which is in darkness experiences night. The length of the days and night is not the same throughout the year. The variation is due to the inclination of the earth axis. Now the next topic, revolution. What is revolution? The movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution. Yes, the movement of the earth around the sun on a fixed path is called, is known as revolution. The fixed elliptical path along with which the earth revolves is called its orbit. The earth moves very fast. It moves at the speed of 30 km per second. It takes 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes and 46 seconds. Appro approximately it is 365 and 1 by 4 days to complete one revolution. For the sake of convenience, 365 days is taken as a single year. The extra quarter of a day adds up to make a whole day every after four years. Thus, we have a year with 366 days every four years which I already uh, explained you in the last class. It is known as a leap year. The extra day is added to the month of February which has 29 days. Now we deal 
revolution causes seasons the revolution of the earth causes seasons the varying length of the day and night throughout the year earth are a result of this seasons the whole year is divided into four seasons spring summer autumn and winter the changes of seasons is based on the inclination of the earth's axis and revolution which position the places nearest or farthest from the sun it determines the intensity of the sun's energy received by that place at a particular time of a year and hence warm or cold weather this drawing shows the position of the earth in its annual movement around the sun why do we experience seasons it is because the earth rotational axis is not perpendicular to the orbit plane because of the axis tilt the angle of the sun rays hitting on hitting a point on the earth earth surface changes with time in a year now equinox on 21st march and 23rd september the sun shines vertically overhead on the equator at midnight the day and night are of equal duration throughout the world these two days are called equinoxes meaning equal night 21st march is called spring or vernal equinox the northern hemisphere has spring at this time while the southern hemisphere has autumn on 23rd september is called autumn equinoxes on this day the north hemisphere has autumn while the southern hemisphere has spring it is neither very hot nor very cold in any hemisphere the last topic of this chapter is solstice the day when the sun shines vertically overhead at one of the tropics that is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn is called solstice the duration of the day is the longest in the hemisphere two solstices are summer solstice and winter solstice position of the earth on 21st june and 22nd december on 21st june the tropic of cancer 23 and half north gets the directly rays of the sun the northern hemisphere gets maximum warmth and sunlight and experiences summer season during this period days are longer than nights places in the northern hemisphere has longest day and shortest night on 21st june it is called summer solstice the north pole is tilted towards the sun and places beyond the arctic circle has daylight for 24 hours of 6 months at the north pole conditions are opposite in the southern hemisphere which experiences winter during this period now 22nd december the tropic of cancer that is 23 and 1/2 degrees south gets the direct rays of the sun the southern hemisphere has summer with longer days and shorter night the south pole is tilted towards the sun places beyond an arctic circle in the northern hemisphere have 24 hours darkness on the day the south pole gets 6 months of daylight during this period while the north pole has continuous darkness for 6 months 
this date is known as winter solstice with the northern hemisphere experiencing winter thus the two hemisphere have opposite seasons after that you have to solve the exercises tick the correct option fill in the blanks true and false match the following and question answer as is well you have to write all the question answer in your sst notebook the first question is distinguish between rotation and revolution first what is rotation and revolution here is the answer the spinning movement of the earth from west to east on its own axis is called rotation second rotation causes day and night and the revolution the movement of the earth around the sun on a fixed path is called revolution and of its second point the revolution of the earth causes seasons number 2 what do you mean by the inclination of the earth's axis the answer is earth axis means axis of rotation while inclination is an angle that angle is 23.5 degrees it is the angle that earth's axis make with her orbital plane orbital plane means the plane in space in which earth revolves around the sun third what is an orbit the fixed elliptical path along with the earth revolves is called its orbit fourth define equinox and solstice here is the answer from here till here yeah, this is the answer of equinox and the solstice from the day to the sun and the last question when do the summer and winter solstices occur this answer you will do by your uh, yourself thank you